set out to pay for this room. I'm glad to see you. Tell me, Jerry, what are you doing here? Well, this is my house. You must have opened the bank. Yeah, at night. Oh, I sell insurance. Say, if you fellas want to quit working and collect 500 a month, all you've got to do is take out a policy. How do you get in on this insurance gag? Well, you take out a policy. Then you go to the insurance doctor and pretend you're nuts. And the insurance company pays you 500 a month. $500 a month? It's a banana. Bonanza. Bonanza, banana, bandana, as long as you don't have to work anymore. How much does it cost? Oh, $25 down, 50 a month. I've got an application blank. I'll get it and help you fill it out. $50. Fork over. Where's that dollar? Oh, no. Don't. Come on. No, don't. Take that's your hands that's my favorite dollar. What do you mean, your favorite dollar? I raised it from a set. Now, cut it out. Don't. Come on, start. <laughs> Hey, where's the key? In the purse. In the purse? What's it in there for? Any sap knows that, so I won't lose it. You won't. Come on, come on. Come on. Come come on. on. Big no, pocket, that's what you are. A big pocket. That's what you are. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Hold still, will you? Getting it the hard way, huh? <laughs> Can't even trust a moth. Give me that. You're next. Shoot the money to me, honey. I don't want to play. Get away. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Come across with that door. I'll tear the rest of it out. Oh, all right. All right. Now we'll fill out the blank. Oh, uh, which one do you want to insure? Him. Well, not me. I refuse. Oh. I still refuse. Oh, oh, oh. I surrender, dear. I surrender. All right. Here you are. Sign right on the dotted line. This is the joint. Boy, we'll be in the money soon. Come on, fighter. Come on. How do you do? How do you do? What's the matter with him? Bats in the belfry. Yeah, the insurance company wants the doctor to examine him to prove that he's batty. Well, that shouldn't be hard. Where's your policy? Right here, madam. How about a date, Toots? Woo woo. Go away. Go away. Oh, hit a dumb animal, would you? You're supposed to be a dog and don't forget it. Oh! Here they are, Doctor. Hiya, Doctor. Which one is the crazy one? That one. Hey, quiet, Bowser. Yes, yeah, sir. This is a very sad case, Doctor. Ever since he's been bitten by a dog, he thinks he is one. What happened to the dog that bit him? He died. Step into the office. I'll examine him. Come on, hydrophobia. <laughs> Up here. Now, let me see. The heart. Two spades. I double. I redouble. Oh! Let the doctor do his stuff. Go on, Doc. Oh! Oh, Doc. You'll have to excuse him. He's a very playful pup. There's something loose inside. Oh, you're wrong, Doctor. His head is empty.
sounds like water on the brain. And you mean he may go from mad to worse? Exactly. I ought to operate on his brain. Oh, you can't do that. You'd have to cut through the bone. Come in. Oh! 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 This is serious. He may go violently insane any minute. Oh, he's worse than that right now. Now be quiet. I don't... Take it easy. Let me be, be quiet. Didn't I tell you he's crazy? Now do we get the insurance money? Why, this man is dangerous. I've got to operate immediately. What, on me? Yes, now don't worry. It, it won't hurt. I'm just going to take the top of your head off right there. <laughs> Come on, oh, not me! Come on! Wait a minute, call the police! Hey, hey, wait a minute! <laughs> hey, what's the idea? Get up! What's going on here? Quick, officer. A madman just left my office. You nitwit. If you had played your part like a Pekingese instead of a wolfhound, our plan would have worked. There he is. Hey, you oh. see? Ah, ah, ah. I don't care who you are. It'll cost you $2 to get the pooch. And he paid. You better telephone headquarters and have broadcast an alarm. That's a good idea, Doctor. Hurry up, he's dangerous. Boy, that was a narrow escape. You're telling me. That guy wanted to carve me up. I never heard two dogs make so much noise. When we're a running, doggies down. Why, he's more fun than a painted clown. We interrupt this program to broadcast a warning. Be on the lookout for three funny looking men. One is an escaped lunatic who imagines he is a dog. Be careful, he bites. That is all. That's enough.
Hey, come arrive. There they are. I see them. Uh, well, go nothing. I won't, eh? To the hospital, quick! Yeah, I did. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Take this patient to surgery and prepare him for cerebrum decapitation. No, not me. I'm all right, I tell you. Come this on. is a mistake. This is a mistake. Let me out. Just a minute. You wait here. If the operation is a success, you may see him. If not, you can claim the body. Thank you, Doctor. Where do you think you're going? We're going to see your friend, Charlie. Charlie? Oh, Charlie. You know Charlie. Fellow walks like this. No. Yeah, he's got a bad case of ingrown heel. He starts out like this. <laughs> No cop can ever catch us. You said it, kid. Nah. That was a close shave. Uh, Look at the cute baby. Uh, Look. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Boy, aren't they cute? Yeah, the one with the red hair with it. Ah. Hey, Doc. Did you see two funny looking guys running around here? No, he's a sick man. I have to go. Oh. Hey, uh, you... Uh -oh. Yes, doctor. Come with me, nurse. Move these bodies to the crematory. Yes, sir, the crematory. Crematory? Boy, that's a real hot foot. Let's get out of here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Imagine anything more intriguing, madam. <laughs> oh, oh, my tooth, it's killing me. Uh, now, now, Ajax, you simply must have that tooth attended to. I want you in a good humor when our refugee arrives. Refugee? Yes, of course. Isn't it wonderful? Everybody's doing it, dear. It's really quite the thing socially. Dogs and cats aren't enough. <laughs> now we've got to have a haven for refugees. Oh. Oh, now look at me. I have a time. Now you must go and get that tooth pulled while I go fix the nursery for our little refugee. Oh. Refugees. Me dying with a toothache. Oh! 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 He! You nitwit, you're supposed to be washing windows, not taking dives off the scaffold. Get up, sleeping Venus, you've been on your back since we got the job. Hold him, eat. I'm the boss, and I want you to stop falling off of the scaffold. Can I help it if I was born dizzy? I'll dizzy you. Oh, I didn't do nothing. That's why I slugged you. Do something. Get the water and wash that window. Right now. <laughs> We're sorry, Doc. You idiots, look what you've done to my office. Oh, we'll clean the place up. And when I come back, I'll clean you up. Hurry! Quiet. We'll probably get fired for this. Oh. Get in here and clean up this mess. Hurry up. Come on. Come on, I'll make everything spank and spank. And get that other spot, too. Oh, this tooth is killing me. You gotta pull it, Doc. Oh. You'll have to come back later, buddy. The dentist. Later, nothing. Get busy and pull this tooth. Go on, pull it. Go ahead, Doc. Take a chance. What do you got to lose? <laughs> okay, buddy, it's your tooth. Uh, and give me an anesthetic. Anywho? Anesthetic. He means he wants to be knocked out. Oh, <laughs> a pleasure. <laughs> He's out. <laughs> you imbecile, you knocked him out before he told us what tooth to pull. Well, don't worry, I'll find it. Move over, Doc. That's it. Boy, you should have been a surveyor. Oh, thanks. Why don't you tell that to all the interns? <laughs> oh, you, uh, this is your fault. Uh. Go on, hold on to him like I told you. Ooh. Hey, Najinsky, give me those clickers. Now, go on, hold on to him. Hey, after all, I'm the sturgeon. Give me a little room. I think I got something. Go on, hold on to 
so I can pull that tooth. Nothing doing. From now on, you do the holding, I'll do the pulling. I hope you know what you're doing. Give me a soybean. I'll show you how to jerk a tooth. Mm. Hey, what's the idea of the glasses? I can't see without the glasses. That's only in your mind. I'll prove it to you. Here. How many teeth in his mouth? Four. You're crazy. He's got a mouth full. See, I told you, I need the glasses. See those teeth? What teeth? Nah. Oh. Go on, get busy. I can pull it blindfolded. Oh. Hey, fellas, I got a bite. Fall away. Ooh, stubborn, eh? Oh, I got it. Good. An octopus. He stripped his gears. Now we have got a problem. Wait a minute. Here's some cement. We'll put his choppers back before he wakes up. Hold this. Ooh, jumping beans. <clears throat> that ought to be enough. Bring me those ivories so I can put them back. Put them back alive. Hey, the cement's hardened. What are we going to do now? Wait a minute. Maybe you can drill it out with this. What do you mean, maybe? We ain't getting no place fast. Think we'll have to blast. Boy, that's an idea. Let's get some powder. Listen, either you fire those janitors or I'll move. They're fired. What are you doing? Ah! Are you all right, Mr. Bullion? Yeah, feels fine, Doc. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Send me your bill. <laughs> doing in my car? We just escaped from a scaffold. Fugitives, huh? Oh, wait a minute. He means we're refugees. Refugees? Yeah, that's it. How would you boys like a nice home? Home, James. <laughs> Come on. Hmm. Not a bad joint. Shh. Remember, you're supposed to be children. Just three dumb kids. We get you, boss. Hey, I relent that. You relent what? He called us children. At your age. <laughs> Leave him alone. Quiet. Oh, what Jack the Ripper, eh? Hit little girls. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh. And I have a surprise for you, dear. Don't tell me you brought me by to the refugee. Three of them. Where are they? Children. <laughs> this is Johnny, Frankie, and Mabel. They're precious. <laughs> Children, meet your new mammy. Who donned our socks and washed our shirts when we were helpless little squirts? Mammy! <laughs> Who kept the buttons on our clothes? Who scrubbed our ears and blew our nose? Mammy! Oh, Mammy. It's your little boy, Sammy. Coming home from Alabama. Put on those eggs and hammy. Don't flim flammy, mammy. Oh, mammy. Oh, mammy. Oh, mammy. Oh, are you hurt, dear? Oh, mammy. Luncheon is served, madam. Hey, eat. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, darling. Oh, 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 Paddy de Fagua. You nitwit. What would Emily Post say? Come and get it. Well, that's that. Hey, where's the dessert? Oh. 
Oh, eat your spinach, children. Here, eat your spinach. I don't like spinach. Well, you're going to eat it whether you like it or not. Oh. <laughs> Where are my cigars? I bought a new box yesterday. You're smoking too much, dear. I am smoking too much. What? Say, where are those refugees? The little darlings. They're upstairs playing games with the butler. <laughs> Come on, seven. Roll those bones. Frankie needs a pair of shoes. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Children. Wait, wait. Find the cigars. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here. Under here. There, there, children. Uh, you may go, Barker. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, you've played long enough. It's getting quite late. <laughs> That's a coincidence. Yes, isn't it? <laughs> now, children, I'll give you a milk so you get undressed and get ready for bed. Oh, no, not us. Oh, we sleep with our clothes on. Last time I took mine off, I caught cold. Oh, the idea. My, it's getting warm in here. Oh. Oh! 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 Take it easy in there. You're as snug as a bug in a rug. Here's the water. Get it in there, boys. Hold it! Hello down there! Are you out? Yeah, she said she's out. Quick, get it on. How are the precious darlings? They're just fine, except Frankie. He has a little cold. The butler's going to bring them all down later. <laughs> How did that apple head get a cold? Slept with his feet hanging out the window last night. He would. What are you doing? I got a cold. Mommy said I should soak my feet. She didn't tell you to soak them with your shoes on, did she? <laughs> now look what you did. How am I going to get rid of my cold? <laughs> Put some of that salve on your chest. Then come right downstairs. Make it snappy. Mm hmm. Mm, I believe I'm starting to smell a little bit. <laughs> Oh, here's one of the children now. A Frankie sweet. I want you to meet all of my guests. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Can you recite something, Frankie? Yes, oh, please. Please do. Oh, please do. <laughs> Little fly upon a wall. Ain't you got no clothes at all? Ain't you got no shimmy shape? Ain't you got no petty skirt? Boo, fly, ain't you cold? <laughs> <laughs> You're just as cute as you can be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not bad yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, wouldn't you like to go and meet some of the other guests? No, I like it here. <laughs> oh, Frankie, come over here. No, I don't want to. Don't worry, I won't leave you. <laughs> oh! 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 Why, Frankie, what's the matter? I've just got a stabbing pain. What's the matter? You got a cold, too? No. How's your cold? Oh, pretty good, but I still don't smell so good. I'll say you don't. Uh, 
I was just playing with the children. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Let's play some more. <laughs> <laughs> postponed indefinitely not returning to port today having order to honolulu see you in a few months love tom dick and harry if we're not married by midnight tonight we can kiss a 10 million dollar legacy goodbye we're sunk oh no you're not smart lawyers never sunk i read about the fleet going to honolulu so i figured out a little plan to save your inheritance well let's have it simple today you marry three convicts tomorrow they hang you get your 10 million, minus my fee, of course, and you're free to marry your boyfriends. Nice, huh? But what about the convicts? Yeah, how about that? There they are. Oh! Ooh. They can't hang us. We're innocent. We're innocent, I tell you. You're telling me. Well, they're going to hang us. Oh, no. No! I'm too young to die. I'm too young and too handsome. <laughs> well, I'm too young. No, 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 no. Hold that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Listen, you, we got 24 hours to live. Think. Think, think! I don't want to pick it up. I don't want to pick it up. Pick it up, kid. I got it. What? A terrific headache. Oh, he stuck. Come on. Listen, we got to get out of here. If we only had a saw. Hey, what about these? Well, where'd you get these? I say, a bottle tops. <laughs> Is this a musical saw? Certainly. It plays I Hear a Rhapsody. Oh, oh. That was a Rhapsody in the Kisser. Come on, get on those bars, quick. <laughs> Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Is that a guy that can saw, see? Saw? <laughs> Gentlemen, my name is Diggins. I'm a lawyer. This is Tiska, Tasca, and Baska Jones. How do How'd you, you do? do? Oh! Will, Will you, you marry us? us? Will we? Oh, boy. Start the ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> I now pronounce you man and wife. Oh, boy. We're married. Uh, Brother-in-law. Niagara Falls. Hey, wait. Hey, wait. wait. Hey. Bamboozle. How do you like that? No wedding kiss. Happy honeymoon, gentlemen. Well, I'll be hanged. You will. <laughs> you had to bring that up. <laughs> Stop it. Howdy, folks. Howdy. This is your old friend, Bill Stein, bringing you a jerk-by-jerk -jerk description of the triple hanging of the mushroom murder mob. This broadcast is coming to you from Hang 'em All Prison. We're right at the gallows side, and it's a beautiful day for a hanging. Peanuts, popcorn, soda pop, chewing gum, candy. Get your programs, gents, all the names and numbers. You can't tell the victims apart without a program. Program? Hey, hey, hey. You better watch that call. First thing you know, you'll wind up with pneumonia. They say strawberries is good for a cold. Strawberries won't be in season for six months. We'll wait. Just a minute. Line up there, boys. This broadcast comes to you through the courtesy of Edam Neckties, with stores at three convenient locations, Skagway, Alaska, Little America, and Pago Pago.
Are you ready? Ready. ready. One, two. Oh, 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 the ropes are broken. They're down. They're all down on the floor. It's... What kind of a hang in this? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stop. Hold on. That's my hand. Dennis. Stay tuned in. I'll bring you a word from the contestants. You're free. The governor's pardoned you. Mickey Finn and his gang have been captured and they've confessed to the mushroom murder. You're free, boys. We're free. We're free. Here, boys, say a few words, will you? You are. I am the shadow. Boo. Here's to us. Three new widows. Please get out of jail. We were innocent. The real murderers confessed. The governor pardoned us. So here we are. And until death do us part. No, no. Until death do us part, eh? Certainly. Oh, boy, what a joint. Okay, then. Give us a kiss. Oh, oh honey. Close your eyes. Oh! Oh! That's just to let you know who's going to be boss around here. Oh, well, if that's how it is, why, that's how it is. Shake. That's just to let you know who's going to be boss around here. We've got to get rid of them. We've got to get rid of them. We'll get rid of them. All we do is insist they become society gentlemen. We'll make them take dancing lessons, fencing, bath. Boy, this ought to take off the pimples and blemishes. Yeah, maybe the skin, too. Who cares? I'll be a skinless frankfurter. Oh, I see. <sighs> <laughs> Smoking on the inside, too. <laughs> Ain't you the one? <laughs> Listen, now we're in society, we've got to act like society. I refuse to act that dopey. Say, what do we know about society? Well, starting tomorrow, we're going to learn. we got to act like gentlemen, so these dames we married won't have any excuse for throwing us out. You mean to say I can't go to sleep with my shoes on? That's exactly what I mean. Now get to bed, like a gentleman. I can't sleep in this bed. Me either. It's too comfortable. Yeah. For once, I agree with you guys. We gotta fix these beds so we can feel at home. Oh boy, just like jail. Yes, sir. All the comforts at home. Grab a bunk, boy. Figure that out for yourself. Uh, oh. Huh. No, that's dangerous. I'm all right now. Nighty night. Good night. Oh, 
Oh, you did, eh? Ow! You, uh, Ow! you fall down. Shut up! Can I reach him? Uh, Give him. Yeah. That's it. That's what you get for putting me on top. Never mind. Listen, our dancing teacher's waiting. Dancing? Oh, boy. I gotta have my breakfast first. We don't eat till after we've taken our dancing lesson. I quit. You can't quit. That's what they want us to do. Get up. Oh, 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 oh. Get up. Oh, 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 oh. Now, in order to become good dancers, you must follow me closely and do exactly as I do. Do you understand? Okay. Here's a dance that's most popular in society. You'll never go amiss doing this. Now follow me closely and do exactly what I do. Ready? Oh! Oh! Well, get came as fast as I could. What seems to be the trouble? Listen, you got us to marry those Frankensteins. Now get us a divorce. Well, you have to have grounds for a divorce. Well, we made them take dancing lessons and wear fancy clothes and even take baths ten times a day. But still they don't complain. I've got it. You've got to give a big party. They're bound to humiliate you. Then all your society friends can testify for you. Divorce will be a cinch. <laughs> I haven't looked this pretty since I was a baby. Come on, let's check in. They're waiting. All right, watch your P's and Q's. Come on. Don't worry. Well, here we are, the life of the party, folks. Oh, 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 Williams, when you bring that big cake in, I want you to walk up. Oh. Yes, sir. Hey, you're gonna eat that chicken alone? No, maybe if I wait, I'll get some potatoes. What kind? Mashed. You got them. Hey, what do you think you're doing, playing poker? Quit stacking the deck. Oh! Quiet. No, boys. Wouldn't you like some punch? Certainly. And see what the boys in the back room will have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pass me the... the... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I heard you traveled a lot. Are you familiar with the Great Wall of China? No, but I know a big fence in Chicago. Oh. Oh. Oh, wouldn't you boys like to sit over there? It's much more comfortable. Ain't she hospital? That's where I'll put you if you don't be quiet. Go on. Oh. I say, Jasper, how's your tape one? Oh, fine. They took the blue ribbon at Madison Square Garden last week. Fancy that. You fancy that. In former years, we traveled incognito, then by freight. <laughs> now we just thumb it. But of all the rides I've taken, I like best. Oh. Oh. You clumsy oaf, you tripped him. He certainly did not. The butler did it deliberately. I did not, sir. He did it. Thank you. But you started it. As a rule, parties bore me, but I know I'm going to get a big bang out of this one. <laughs> oh. oh, Senator, I'm so sorry. Ah! 
You missed me. Oh, yeah. Halted. So I turned to my right, and there coming toward me was a... another lion. But did it scare me? Not a bit. Oh, those soldier like I am. And I turned to come face to face with another lion. Just at that moment, that very moment, I heard a roar to my left. The lion that I thought that I'd killed was only wounded. <laughs> but you understand exactly what I'm talking about. Well, at that time, now there I was. One lion here, one lion there, nothing but my trusting knife and my bare fist. But there I was above. The oh, me. Never have I been through such a lion fight. Somebody give me a pie! Chewy. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you let Julie pie up! Why, you? Where is he? <laughs> Shut up, you're out. Oh! oh, you my oh, you dirty tramps! You've disgraced your wives and their guests. Now get out! Oh! I'll have your marriage in all at once. Oh, yeah? Your little scheme. It worked beautifully. <laughs> just because we're eight months behind. But he did. Yeah? Well, I'm going back and get my other shirt. Get my other pair of socks. They're standing behind the stove. Right. Yeah, but he won't let us in. Hey, listen to this. Man collects $30,000 damages from hotel, slips on cake of soap and lobby, and gets huge judgment. Do you hear that? All we need is a cake of soap, and we're in business. Let's go up and get one. Wait a minute. He won't let us in. Oh, he won't, eh? <laughs> Feel that muscle. Very good. I'll tear him limb from limb. I'll chop him to ribbons. I'll wreck him. I'll crush him. I'll give him a... I'll give... Believe me, come on! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 Look! Soup! Just what we're looking for. Oh, boy, let's go. Boy, this is it, a hotel. I can feel the money jingling in my pocket now. Start slipping. We start suing. Keep your eyes peeled for anybody. Go ahead. Hey, why don't you mind your own business? Ah! Ah. They're nervous, some people. Came out of nowhere. Now you wait with me, and I'll see that you're put in a tub and nobody uses you. <laughs> Why, you dummy? Don't you dare hit me in the head. You know I'm not normal. Why? Oh! <laughs> See that? Oh! Oh. Now, 
why don't you do things right? I've been trying, but the soap is too big. Soap is too big. Get your leg up here. There. There. Now do things right. Hey, porcupine. Quit eating your lunch. We got some things. Tourist. Good afternoon, Mr. Scroggins. Won't you come in? Never mind the formality. What about the interest on your note? Well, here's $52, Mr. Scroggins. It's all I have. You know, business has been very bad, but I'm doing the very best I can. I haven't time to listen to your excuses. You have the rest of the interest in 10 days, or I'm taking this dump over. But people won't stop here unless the place is fixed up, and I haven't any money to do it with. We gotta help that poor old lady. Come on. Wait a minute, Shylock. She'll have the money on time. Yeah, and I'll see that you get it, too. Me, myself, I, personally. I'll guarantee it, see? And who are you? Who is he? Why, he's one of the biggest steel men in the country. He'd steal anything. I mean, his steel is known from coast to coast. Will he steal? And how? Is that your hat? Yes. Why don't you get your head simonized? Just for that, I'll dispossess you. <laughs> oh, boys. Now, don't worry, Mom. He can't dispossess you for 30 days. And by that time, we'll have you on Easy Street. Oh, how can I ever thank you? Don't try. By the way, here's $52 I just found in my hand. Why, that's the amount I gave Mr. Scroggins. Now, ain't that a coincidence? <laughs> we'll take care of everything. You go see a movie. Oh, thank you. Single feature. Say. Did you notice the beautiful watch Scroggins had on? Notice it? I got it. This will buy paint and wallpaper. I won't need this soap anymore. Come on, fellas, let's go. I got the whole thing. Oh, 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 hey, oh. hey kid. Oh. Are you hurt? Yeah, but I don't care. <laughs> Come on. Get a move on. OK, OK. To the creek with the boys, I'm going to. Hurry up with that board. Oh! oh Give I'm me sorry. that nitwit. Lock it off. Fall away, far away, love on the sea. to the boys. The beautiful water. Oh, so Wait a minute, you dimwit. Don't you know nothing about driving nails? Are you that dumb? Can you see where that nail is pointing? That nail is for the opposite wall. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Now, get busy. Oh! That nail don't belong. Hey, what are you going to sleep now for? You know what? Hey, no. Hey, no. What happened? What happened? Say a few syllables. I'll annihilate you. I'll murder you. A wrong syllable. Get busy over there. Look, look, and stop you using left-handed nails. <laughs> Start nailing. Wait a minute, turnip head. Oh, 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 Come on, roll it back. I gotta figure out a way to fix this. I'll fix it. Well, would it be possible for us to... I don't think it would be possible. You know what got work to do? You double-crossed 
stopped me. It's Sabatucci, I tell you. I'll Sabatucci you. Get that weight. Hold that roll. Lift that barge. Tote that bale. Zoop. What am I doing? Hold that back there. I'll overlap these. Have it on? Right. You. Lay across all three of them. In there? Right. Let's go. Oh. Hurry up, you guys. This floor is hot and I can't allow it. Now, what we gotta do is figure out a way to get the whole thing. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> That settles it. We get rid of this linoleum and paint the floor. Come on, pitch it out of here. One. Two. Looks screwy enough to be good. Come on, let's look them over. Look, boys, see who's coming. Look, Waldo Twitchell. Ought to be good for a couple of laughs anyway, huh? If he gets a good write-up in his column, the place is made. Yeah, but if he knocks the place, Mrs. Brown will lose the hotel. If you get him seated, we'll get the show started. It better be good. Let's go. I hope you enjoy our new place, Mr. Twitchell. Thank you. Good evening, friends. I would call you ladies and gentlemen, but you know what you are. <laughs> Tough audience. We have a request. From the busboy? Yes. To execute a song entitled, She was bred in old Kentucky, but she's just a crumb up here. <laughs> Maestro. Maestro. sauerkraut so we oh, that settles it that settles it i quit <laughs> part of the routine on the murder how do you like that audience hit me with a tomato and made you both said i had talent <laughs> a tomato yeah a cowardly tomato one that hits you and runs wait till i get out there brother i'll wow him What's the idea? Get out on that stage. Oh, I'm all ready. I wasn't talking to you, Balbo. Relax. I'll call you when I want you. Come here, blubberhead. Haven't you got any more brains than to walk off a stage when you're entertaining people? Besides, we gotta help the old lady. Yeah, now get out there and mingle with the guests. Listen, you! Mingle or I'll mangle. Oh, that's different. You don't know. The show must go on. Now go out there and mingle with the guests. Maybe we can overcome a bad start. Wait on them. Dance with them. Go on out the kitchen and get busy. Come on. Do you mind if I cut in? Not at all. If you dance like you act, I know I'll get home early. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Come on, Shorty. Don't be no dead fan. Smile. Come on, give in. <laughs> Oh, that's better. We're in the groove now. <laughs> China Club. Oh. <laughs> Who 
What are you looking at me for? <laughs> Oh, missed you, huh? Jasper, I want you to meet Miss Stampendale. How do you do? <laughs> Fresh. Come on, let's finish our dance, Tuts. Well, waiter, do you have a patty de foie gras? I'll see if the band can play it. <laughs> pardon me, pardon me. Let me do Hey, Walter. Oh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> food at last. Give me some food. Oh, lovely Ain't exactly wagging a tail for joy. If we don't find a job. I'm so hungry I could eat a skunk. Raw! Look! A banquet. What are we waiting for? Hey, 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 hey,
died for. Now you wrecked it. You know I can't. <laughs> What's the idea of dropping a thing with you? No! <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> they stole my melon. <laughs> Canvas back duck club. Salesman wanted. Are you guys salesmen? That's fine. Come on, we got a job. Your troubles are over. Here we are. Three of the best salesmen that ever sailed. Got a piece of bacon in your pocket? Why? You keep me busy, I'll get some eggs for breakfast. You try that and I'll crack your head like an eggshell. Come on. You men ever sold anything? Why, save me anything we could lay our hands on. Gentleman said sold, not stole. Oh, I misunderstood him. Pardon me. Well, what do we sell? Memberships in the Canvasback Duck Club. Canvasback? When I was a fighter, that's what they called me. I was on the canvas so much, I used to stand like that. Not for long. And then my foot wake and the rosin in my eye. Canvas. See that? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, gentlemen, gentlemen, listen to me. With this proposition, you can't go wrong. Remember this, boys. Every red-blooded man is a potential hunter at heart. Why, there's one in every office. That's right, boys. All you have to do is appeal to the primitive in them, and you can't go wrong. And for every membership you sell, you get 10% of $50. Think of it, 10%. Think of it, 10%. Oh, boy, $3. <laughs> Gentlemen, you're on your way to success. We're glad to have you with us. And you, too. Let me be the first to congratulate you. And you, good luck. Come on, start selling. Who are we going to sell to? Every red brother he man is a potentate hunter. There's one in every office. That's right. I'll go this way. I'll go that way. I'll go that way. Uh, oh, shoot. <laughs> Spread out, remember. Ducks is ducks and cash is king. And never the twain shall meet. Go on, start selling like I told you. No take no for an answer. No, sir. Oh. Look out, look out. You want a duck? Yes. Look out, now don't do that. Don't do that. Ducks, ducks. Who wants to buy some ducks? Is your blood red? Are you a potent hunter? All you need is a prime appeal. What about a duck? There's one in every office. Hey, remember me? Your face looks familiar, but I don't know where to put it. Yeah. I'm your boss. What a coincidence. I knew I saw you someplace before. <laughs> is that a proposition or is that a proposition? You can't go wrong, pal. I don't want any ducks. But listen, buddy. No ducks. Hmm, no ducks. No ducks. Can't we appeal to your privilege? Only 50 bucks makes it the chance of a lifetime. I don't eat ducks. I'm a vegetarian. Well, eat the vegetables, see? And leave the duck. Come on. No. Ah! Calling all duck hunters. Calling all duck hunters. Duck hunters this way. Duck hunters this way. Calling all duck hunters. Calling all duck hunters this way. Hey, it's me. Calling all duck hunters. A customer. What do you say, brother? The chance of a lifetime. Want to buy a wild duck? If not, why not? No, I don't want to buy any Please. ducks. Whoa. 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 Hey, you guys, come here. Oh! muscle-bound porcupine. You would throw a pass and let a cop intercept it with his head. Right up. I didn't say nothing. Well, that's for what you were thinking. My mind's a blank. You. Ooh. We're surrounded. Come on. Uh, hello, Jack. Hi, officer. We can't get through. Yes, this is the chief of police. No, I don't want to be disturbed by anyone except the mayor. When he comes, show him in. Thanks. <laughs> what is this? The chance of a lifetime. You're about to join a duck club. Not today. I'm busy. Get out. Get out. Now, listen, fella. Relax. Imagine it's dawn. You're waiting for the sunrise on the lake. A duck is calling his mate from the Thule's. <laughs> yeah, I hear it. Now they leave the water. Quick, get down. Get... They're coming closer. I can hear the rustling wings. They're coming within range. <laughs> 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 
big fat ones. Now they're circling overhead. They're setting their wings to land. They're coming down. Get your gun ready. Yes. They're right in front of you. And you must do either. Okay. Fire! Oh, the mayor. The mayor? The mayor, boys. <laughs> the... I still can't figure how those three saps sold those memberships so fast. Who cares? You heard them say on the phone they sold them, and they're on the way here with the dough. And yeah, the minute we get the dough, we're going to scram town. Right. It's the cops. The wives to us. We did it! We did it! Hey, Chief, where are you? Say, boss, we sold all the memberships. Here's the dough. All in the same place, too. That's great. Who'd you sell them to? The police department. Uh, we even sold one to the chief. And the mayor. We're going to see the governor tonight. The governor? We're going up to the club with the chief and the mayor. They're outside now waiting for us. Like to meet him? No, no, we're too busy. We'll meet him up at the club in the morning. OK, give us our commission. We'll get out of here. Well, we're kind of short of cash. We'll bring your commission to the club. Not that we don't trust you, but could you give us an IOU? Oh, sure, we'll give you an IOU. There we are. I owe you 10%. Now sign right here. Thanks. Hey, you're not going to let him get away with that, are you? Oh, a wise guy, eh? Give me back my pencil. Hmm. Now we're off to the hunt. 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 Better get the limit. Well, if we don't, our money will be refunded. Correct, Chief. Absolutely correct. Uh, hmm, must be another customer. I think it's Blackie and Doyle. Maybe they got our money. Oh, Paul Revere. Uh, just passing. Thought the old club was haunted. Nobody been around here in goodness knows when. Fine, that should make the duck hunting better. Duck hunting? Why, man, there ain't been a wild duck around here in years. Wild ducks, duck honey. <laughs> well, there better be ducks, or you guys will get 20 years. Oh, uh, don't mind that old bird. He's cuckoo, Chief. Sure, we'll go right out, Chief, and make sure there's plenty of ducks. Yeah. Hey, and don't try any funny stuff, because you can't get away from the police department. Certainly, old Chief, you old kid, old Chief, old kid. We'll be back in a quack with a quack. And I do mean quack. Look out! This is a fine mess. What we gotta do is get some ducks. I got it. Go get me some duck eggs. I'll sit on them and hatch them. We can't wait that long. Go on out and rustle up some ducks and hurry up. Hurry up! <laughs> Listen, Porcupine, I got an idea. Get these decoys. I got it. Ouch! All right, wise guy, you said there was ducks. Where are they? Now, don't get excited, Chiefy. You get ready to shoot. I'll call them. <coughs> ducks. <coughs> you better watch for them. You got him. Well, I certainly. Oh, <laughs> no, you got him, Mayor. It's working all right. Now, if that pudding head will only find some ducks. We can't hold out much longer. This is the last one. Quit stalling. Let her go. Oh! Remind me to kill you later. Yeah, blow up one of these rubber decoys. You ought to tear your esophagus out. Quiet. What 
What is this, a gag? It better not be. They're hep to us, and that nitwit had it to sight us. We better swim. Come on. Cut out that quacking. That ain't me. Are you sure? Yeah. Where'd you get those ducks? You heard of the pie-eyed piper of Hamlin, ain't you? Yeah. Well, I figured if he could pipe rats pie-eyed, then I could pipe duck sober. Look! Millions of them! Let them have it! Say, why can't we get our share of ducks? Certainly, that's a good idea. Come on! Let's go. almost got him, didn't I? Look! Hey, why don't you watch where you're shooting? <laughs> there they are, Sam. Oh, 
nurse, my baby, my poor little garçon. Oh, calm yourself, Mrs. Bedford. He's in the hands of the world's greatest specialist. They'll pull him through. I hope so. To the operation. The operation. To the operation. This is Monday, ain't it? Yeah. Come on, get busy. We got operating to do.
are you doing with that thing on? <laughs> we got operating to do. Come on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do you think it's serious, Dr. Curley? Yes, indeed, to say the least, if not less. Hmm. The perambulation of the pedal extremity is impeded by the insertion of a foreign botanical offshoot. Now, gentlemen, we must proceed with caution. This Bedford dog is worth a fortune. So it is. The instruments. The instruments. 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 <laughs> Go get a piddle de tar. We have none. We have none. Oh, yes, we have. No, no, no. Hold it, Doctor. This is gonna hurt me worse than it does you, Garson. Oh, hold on. Hit me up in a minute. Yeah. Ouch! Oh, oh, oh. The wrong thorn. Oh, 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 oh. My proboscis. Oh. Success. 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 Doctor, this operation shall go down in history. Yeah. I didn't know you had it in you. I didn't. She did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Looks like a botanical offshoot in the upholstery. We'll have to operate. Oh, no, a thousand times no. Get the anesthetic. Get the anesthetic. The anesthetic. Oh. Administer the anesthetic. Oh. 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 Is she all right? The operation was a complete success. That's wonderful. Now I can show Garçon in the dog show tomorrow. Come, Garçon. Oh, no, he must rest here for a few hours. Yes, we'll have it back about four o'clock. We'll see that Garçon gets the very best of attention. Oh, yes, madame. Thank you. Good day, gentlemen. Good, Good day. day. Oh. Nurse, put the dog to bed. Dr. Moe, Dr. Larry, Dr. Curley. What do you want? Two important visitors to see you. Okay. Hey, that noise must have eaten catnip. <laughs> oh. One little kitten lost its mitten. How careless. Here they come now. How do you do, gentlemen? We're from the Daily Star. We'd like to get up a feature story about your hospital. That's fine. Follow us. We'd be happy to show you around the place. Hello, now, here's our general ward. This is where we keep our mixed patients. Now, this cat suffers from operatic tendencies, like to sing opera on the back fences. I can't see! I can't see! What's the matter? I got my eyes closed. Ah! Well, lay off, lay off. You get the bottom? Oh, here's an interesting case, gentlemen. What's wrong with him? He suffered from acute alcoholism. Ain't he a cutie? No, no. He's a lap dog. A lap dog? Yeah, he lapped up two cases of beer. A bad case. Keep a cool head, kid. Now, right this way, gentlemen. He's in height. Now, here's a peculiar case. See that? What's GCM mean? Garbage can moocher. Yeah, he's got a bad case of scavengeritis. But we'll cure him. See that? Right this way, and I shall demonstrate. It never fails. The dog puts his head inside the garbage can. We step on the valve, which propels a stream of water into the dog's face, frightening him. Now, after several such treatment, the patient is entirely cured. Now, note the simplicity of the construction. And it always works. Ah! Oh, Marty! I got you. I'll tell your esophagus out. Open your mouth. Ow! Quiet. You want to wake Garson? Who's Garson? That's Mrs. Bedford's prize poodle. Oh. Calling Dr. Curley. Calling Dr. Curley. Go to room six. See a man about a dog diet. <laughs> Calling Dr. Larry. Calling Dr. Larry. Dog in ward eight chasing his tail. Bit himself. Is that serious? Will it hurt his carriage? I don't know about his carriage, but it's going to race Kane with his wagon. Calling Dr. Moe. Pomeranian in Ward 6 has a coat on its tongue. What should we do? Give the pants and vest and take him for a walk. Pardon me. 
Come on, we gotta pull this job in a hurry. We'll hide him in the old house until we get the ransom. Is this my dinner? Why, certainly. Fricassee bone. It's delicious. Mm. Since when do I look like a dog? I don't know. I ain't seen you lately. You ain't, huh? <laughs> hey, leave me alone. can have her dog if she pays $2,000. Don't tell the cops or she will never see him again. Those guys weren't reporters. They were dog nappers. We got to stall Mrs. Bedford off till we find her dog. Now start thinking, if possible. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I'm trying to think, but nothing happens. Hey, fellas, look. It ain't so serious. Here's his collar and leash. All we got to do is refill it. That's brilliant. That's smart. <laughs> oh. Look out. I got an idea. I wonder what he's up to. Sit down, Ann. Now, here's the idea. We've got to disguise this mutt to look like Garson. The old lady won't know the difference. Get to work on that mattress. Nice, get the glue. You get the black paint. <laughs> Stop pulling, boys. Pile it up now. Hey! Hey! What's the matter? It's got dandruff. You get to work like I told you. Ow! Go on, get busy, will you? My hair. He looks more like Garson than Garson. Nobody will ever recognize him. That mattress hair turned the trick. We brought Mrs. Bedford's dog back. All right, but keep it away from me. I don't like dogs. Come on. Come on. Just wait right in here, gentlemen. Madam will be right in. Go away, dog. Go away. You a scout. I'm getting out of here. Yeah. Hey. Here's to you. Not to me, to you. <laughs> 
I'm mighty yet. Seltzer. Then I'll have some, too. I know, you didn't mean it. No, I didn't. <laughs> Look. What? Why, uh... Oh! The trace! Oh! It's gone! Oh! 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 Well, where is Garson? Right here. Yeah, yeah. Garson. Garson. Hey, Garson. Garson. Hey, Garson. Hey, Garson. 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 Yeah. Hey, Garson. Oh, here he is. Here. <laughs> That's not my dog. Oh. oh, Chief Anna, get something. Do something. All right. Do something. Don't worry. Oh, I'm sorry. You fiends. You vandals. What have you done with my dog? I'm sorry, lady. We made a mistake. We broke. You get my dog door. back, or I'll have the police on you. We'll bring him back alive. You'd better. We better get a dog back, or she'll have us in jail. Come on. Hey. Mush. Mush. I tell you, the jig is up, boys. I can see us in jail. Yeah, on a rock pile, making little ones out of big ones. Listen, bloodhound. If you've got any blood in you, you'll find Garson. Now, go on, do your stuff. Look, he's gonna find him. Come on. He sees him. On your toes, you heels. He's calling us. Why don't he make up his mind? Quiet, we'll find out. Come on. You double crosser. Listen, if you've got any pointer in it, you better start pointing and point out those dog nappers. Get the point? Hmm. No, 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 no. He must be a point setter. Quiet, you hot air, Dale. <laughs> I wonder why we haven't heard from the owner of that dog. Search me. Please don't be a point setter. Stop pointing. Come on, he's on the set. Yeah. Oh, oh. Get out of the way. We're looking for a dog. He had four legs and a tail. No, I ain't seen no dog. <laughs> it's them! The dog nappers! Come on! Look. Get him, Ralph! Hold still! <laughs> Give it to him! Give it to him! Suck him! In the chair! Oh, 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 oh. Strong. 
20 years deep, never felt like I belong From the streets to the stage, I speak truth in every song My lyrics cut deep like a knife in the dawn I hustle hard, grind it from dust till dawn Every setback just fuels my fire I spawn from the concrete jungle where dreams are born I rise above the noise like a fiendish reborn This is my life, my story, my rhyme From the struggle and pain I climb With every beat I redefine my legacy Forever into front This is my life, my story, my rhyme From the struggle and pain I climb With every beat I redefine my legacy Forever into front I've all the highs and lows From the penthouse suites to the streets where it snows But no matter the path, the journey I chose I stay true to myself that's how it goes, I spit verses like bullets Piercing through the night Shattering illusion, shedding truth, shedding light With every rhyme I write, I take flight Defying gravity, reaching new heights This is my life, my story, my rhyme From the struggle and pain I climb With every beat I redefine My legacy forever intertwined This is my life, my story, my rhyme from the struggle and pain I climb With every beat I redefine My legacy forever intertwined So here I stand on the stage alone A warrior poet with a heart of stone I paid my dues, I caught my mind Got the shell low, better for the desert This is my legacy Forever intact, I got to rain better for the desert Yeah, and for the desert I'm a veteran in the game, ain't no turning back This is my legacy, forever intact